One year, my regular nativity set, the one that I've had, it's an olive, one, olive wood one, um, remained out all year. And then it just kind of grew. I have ones from different areas of the world. They're all very different. Some of them are complete sets with Mary and the baby and um, animals and the kings. And some of them are just Mary and Joseph together and the baby. So I had a challenge from a friend to post one a day from probably the beginning of December. Um, and I, I did it because it was kind of unique, you know? And I ran out of days before I ran out of nativities. You know, most people have a collection and um, it's just their own. Uh, my husband, Steve, adds to it. And there was, we were at a silent auction one night and he saw this one in the coconut shell. And he just kept on bidding it up until it came home. My daughter Meg uh, actually embroidered one for me last year. And my younger daughter Laura, she found another one that was um, at some Christmas Bazaar in Chicago, and she bought that for me. So it's definitely become a family approved collection. And the, each one of them have their favorites. If you were to ask them the same question about favorites, they would, each one would say something different as well. They definitely support it. I've, he, he's never, or Steve has never said to me, um, you have too many or you know, why don't we put some away? You know, more of them come out during the Christmas season, but it's kind of in January when putting away the Christmas stuff I, is when I decide which ones that I want to, um, which ones I want to keep out for the year. I think the first time that I realized I kept them out too long, uh, my older daughter was getting married and her soon-to-be mother-in-law was coming to visit for the very first time and it was October and I said I need to put this away she's gonna think that there's something wrong with me <laughs> and I did because you know you want to have your best foot forward but since that point I've not put it away you know I've, I've decided you know what it is who I am and it just Having them around just keeps me focused on a daily basis on the true meaning of Christmas, which should be all year round. Um, my olive wood one is a favorite. It was the first one um, Steve's parents gave it to us and then added a couple of other features like a um, uh, herd of sheep. And we seem to have lost sheep, but when we would set it up at, with the girls when my daughters were little, um, the sheep would be lined up in rows, real neat rows. And Steve would come home and say, sheep don't travel in rows, and he would mess it up. The one that my mother-in-law gave me actually from Ecuador is, is a favorite because it shows the baby as a baby. And the, um, he's curled up and, you know, his feet are tucked under him and it, it's not, you know, and the blanket's half falling off, so it kind of shows the humanity of them. And then, I, I don't know, I like my willow tree one, and every year I'm looking for new pieces to add to that one, so it's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> when you say a nativity set, you have pieces, and they're all separate. Um, and so I, I do have a lot of those, but the ornaments, the ones that will show maybe Mary, Joseph, and the baby in, um, in a stable or just, I have one that looks like it's in a star, you know, where you put the Christmas light in it and it lights up. Um, those, those are different and um, they're more concise. Uh, so I, I have an ornament from Jerusalem that I keep on my desk at work because it stands by itself. It's small and a little unobtrus unobtrusive. Um, I have another one that Meg gave me when she w went to Italy, and it's actually Mary and Joseph and the baby on a donkey. It's called Fleeing to Egypt. And people forget or may not realize that when um, Jesus was about two years old, there was a um, decree that said that the king was going to kill all the all boys under two. 
And so they went to Egypt and this particular, it's almost like a statue, but it gives this action feel to it. Like it is, um, they're moving and moving quickly and running from something. My one from Colombia, I think, um, was one that had been given to my mother-in-law a long time ago. And she gifted that to me. I have one that was Steve's grandmother's that um, when they were breaking up her household, my mother-in-law picked out specifically for me. So I think my mother-in-law is a strong encourager of my little collection. Um, I have a music box, which is uh, Mary Joseph and the baby and an angel. Given everything that's been in the news lately, it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to see God. And so I think that for me, having the visual reminder is that even though things are really bad, um, God still is around and he's real to me.